Hey mamas, this is Kara from Fit Through the Fourth, bringing you your Sunday mindset chat for this week. Um, so at 40 Week Fit, we talk a lot about prioritizing you. And it's definitely a common problem for a lot of moms out there. Um, there are so many different analogies that go along with this. Um, you can't pour from an empty vessel, put your own oxygen mask on first. You can't run an empty tank. Um, so it all comes down to prioritizing your own needs first. Putting yourself at the top of your list every single day before you try to take care of everyone else. And if you do this, if you fill yourself up, up first, um, then everything else in your day kind of falls into place and you'll be able to actually achieve more in a day. So the problem is with moms is that mommy guilt is like a real thing. And as moms, it's hard to figure out a way to put your needs high up on your list of priorities while also taking care of your littles. And I know that on several occasions I've said to myself, oh my God, I'm so hungry, I really should eat something. And then one of my kids needs something and it's two hours later and all of a sudden I realize that I still haven't eaten anything and I'm starving and cranky and I have a lot less patience for um, my very busy toddler. Um, so if you think about it, if I had taken care of myself, then I probably would have had a little more patience, a little more energy, and just generally been a happier person. Um, so if you're constantly wiped out and depleted of what gives you energy or what centers you, then how are you going to be able to present your best self to those around you? And it's not selfish to put your needs first. What's selfish is depriving your children and those around you of your best self. It is okay to say mommy needs a second or to put a show on for your kid or something so that you can just catch your breath for a second. So mamas, what is it that fills you up and what is it that centers you? And how are you going to prioritize those needs, I said needs, not wants, every single day? So start small, um, wake up a little early and enjoy a nice cup of coffee or tea while it's still warm. Um, and while you're sipping your Bev, you can sit quietly and make a list of all of the things that you're grateful for in your head. Or um, you could always read a couple pages from a book that's been on your list for a long time. If you're not a morning person, which I am not, um, when your husband or partner gets home, hand off the littles and go for a walk by yourself. Um, or, you know, take a nice long shower, listen to a podcast, put on some of your favorite relaxing jams. And most importantly, ask for help. We know that you can do this by yourself, but you do not have to. And that's something that was really hard for me for a long time. I thought that I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have to do all of this by myself. This is my job. But it's the hardest job in the world, and you need to ask for help. We weren't meant to do this 100% on our own. We were meant to do this collectively as a community of women and a community of moms. And that's what we're here for over at 40 Week Fit, to be that community for you. Um, every once in a while, try to do something a little bigger for yourself. Go get a massage, go get a facial, um, go out to the movies with your girlfriends. Um, and when you're going about your day, make sure that you're checking your in with yourself um, and label the feelings that you're having. I know for me, um, going from one child to two children was uh, has been a little overwhelming at times and I need to check in with myself throughout the day and say right now I'm feeling overwhelmed I need to stop and I need to reset and if that means putting on a show for my toddler while I can just sit and catch my breath that's okay we are giving you permission here at 40 week fit to put your needs first so we want you to try it out and we can guarantee that you'll have more patience for your kids more focused during your day and you'll overall be a happier and more pleasant person. So let us know over on our page, what are you doing today to prioritize your needs? Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your weekend.